All right, you guys ready back there? Everything good? Okay, let's begin. Coach TC, would you like to make a statement? Yes. <laughs> what a great basketball game. Holy cow, that was so much fun to be a part of. Um, an incredible effort by two great basketball teams mm -hmm. in the Elite Eight, and that's what it's all about. Like, we knew coming into this stage of it that every game is just going to be top caliber athletes being top caliber players on top caliber teams. And that was Georgia Southwestern tonight too. Holy smokes. They put on an outstanding performance. And um, I mean, their offensive field goal percentage was mm -hmm. outstanding at halftime. I mean, we had to really kind of look in the mirror a little bit about our defense. And you know, certainly our defense is um, up in your shorts with a lot of pressure. Um, we have a great group of players that trust themselves to be great playmakers mm -hmm. out there. And uh, I th thought a little bit we maybe got a little greedy in the first half, uh, wanting to try to get the million-dollar play. And, you know, we just, we just talked at halftime about our defense is gritty too. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes we just got to settle in and, and do the dirty work and just grind um, and make teams have to work a little bit more. And I thought we really settled into that in the second half and still did it in a team basketball way, um, which is what this team is all about. So um, just so dang proud of this team. Um, wonderful leaders out here who just, they just stayed composed uh, when that game, you know, got into some, some ups and downs and peaks and valleys out there and just never lost uh, faith in our team and what our defense could do for us out there. And uh, we're just super excited to be moving on to the final four. Thank you, Coach. Now we'll take questions for the players, please. <laughs> Joey, just talk about the composure. You guys haven't been in a game close like this for a while. Battle from a few deficits, came, overcame a few things. Had a great start second half. They got in, still had the lead in the fourth quarter. Just talk about the composure the team had down the stretch. Yeah, for sure. I think that kind of shows to like the depth that our leadership goes. Um, we're kind of like a pretty veteran team. Like we had a lot of experience last year to this year too. But just seeing that composure from even like we had some sophomores in too. Just seeing that composure from them. They lean on us, some of the older girls, to like take them through the ropes, take them through it, um, talk them through it. And I feel like we're so vocal out there. Mm -hmm. Anytime we huddle, we huddle any chance we can get. And we're always talking about, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're always looking at coach. And credit to coach, I mean, we are always working on situations in practice. Um, and just getting those situations are so important during practice, too, just so that when it comes to a game, we aren't just, just blank stares on our face. We don't know what the heck's going on. So, And I think it was good for us to have a close game, too. Um, shows our resiliency and how strong this team really is. Other questions for the players? Paul? Emily, Coach TC mentioned the defensive mm -hmm. mindset. And the thing I have to ask, you forced 26 turnovers yeah. coming into this game. How much of a key was it for you mm -hmm. to be disruptive out there on defense? Yeah, that's what our defense is built around, is forcing them into tough situations and making them turn the ball over. Um, I'm not sure how many turnovers we had, but we generally shoot for about plus 10 at least. And that was definitely a goal going into this game. We knew we could speed them up, hopefully. They did a pretty good job handling it to start. But like Coach said, at halftime, we made some adjustments and got more not so on ball and getting more off ball turnovers. And that really set the tone to get us going the second half for sure. Emily, on the offensive boards, you guys were plus seven. Yeah. Talk a little bit about one, one, one number that really steps out is Ava Steer comes off the bench. Yeah. Has five rebounds, four of them on the offensive glass. Talk a little bit about mm -hmm. her game today. Yeah, right when me and Roos and Ave, right when we're getting in there, um, one thing that we mainly say is, you know, rebound. That's our main job, especially against this team with their two bigs. Um, so that was Roos and Ave's role the whole night was just to try to get bodies on them and the rest of us swoop, swoop in to get – get their help and get their back. So, I mean, obviously it helps when we can crash and we take tough shots, but then being able to convert on offensive rebounds is huge for us. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? <clears throat> going once, going twice. Okay, players, you're excused. Thank awesome. you for your time. Thank you so much. Okay, questions for coach. 
kosher. I think we all do. Coach, um, everybody talks about how good it scores. Joey, Natalie, if yes, Jimmy are. Um, we know they can score on a, any given night. But how, talk about the production of girls like Emily and Hannah and Emily and just talk about their production tonight. All three of them had nine apiece as well. Yeah, you know, I think um, it just says so much about our depth and our, our um, you know, just how we, we have so much resiliency. We call our, our players all loaded weapons out there. And, you know, certainly, um, you know, Joey, Destiny, and Natalie are players that shoulder a lot for us. They're kind of what we call our creators. Um, they make a lot happen, especially in our press, too. You know, they, they get a lot of their points with early picks and making plays uh, in that area of the court. But, um you know, I don't, I don't necessarily look at this stat sheet and think, wow, I didn't expect that or I didn't expect that. Uh, those are all things that we expect um, each of our players to bring out there. And, and I think that's what makes our, our system so um, hard to scout. But I think it also gives our players so much confidence out there that, you know, even if you are having maybe an off night, um, there's just so much confidence that other players are going to be willing uh, to step up. And, you know, our, our motion offense and, and our ability to have so many players that are so versatile out there uh, it just lends to that type of depth and those scoring opportunities. Coach, it's not too often you see somebody other than Joey leading the team in st uh, steals, but Natalie Bremer had six of them tonight. Talk a little bit about her game and what she did and, and how she really caused some havoc on the defense. Yeah, just like uh, Emily Herzberg just noted there, you know, I think um, we we look to, you know, Joey on the ball and even Hannah Herzig, who is an outstanding uh, steals getter with her pressure that she can put on the ball with her length. But, um, you know, what we really had to talk about was our second line of our defense getting locked in to be not just running at the ball and going for the greedy steals, like we call that. But, uh, you know, we talked to Natalie. She's kind of like a safety on defense. And she just kind of sizes things up in that, you know, back level there. And she just really can kind of see when things develop. And she's just got such a natural knack uh, for, for how to make plays off the ball. Um, and I think that just, again, gave confidence to some of our guards on the ball that, you know, we got somebody in that next level that can be ready to go make plays for us. Coach, we talked about the turnovers, obviously 26 of them for GSW. You guys basically lost the shooting percentage in <coughs> free throws, threes, and from the field. What about the shots down the stretch, though? It, it didn't matter early on, but down the stretch, you guys were able to make some shots. How big was that? That was huge, you know, and I think a lot of that is, um, you know, just our conditioning, uh, what we're able to do uh, throughout the course of the season. You know, we've got a lot of fresh legs. We've got a lot of players that can play for us. Um, and I think, you know, A, we were getting stops, and that leads to more of our, our open court opportunities to score. When, when we have to take the ball out and kind of grind in the full court, it certainly takes us out of our flow. Um, but, yeah, no question, I think, you know, just – that confidence to see those balls going in. And we, and we talked, you know, I, I kind of pulled Emily Herzberg aside there and just said, hey, man, you got to be ready for those 15-foot sniper shots because that's your game. And not only was she ready for that, she pulled a couple threes and uh, just had the confidence, again, that that leadership uh, really we rely on, on that look in their eye, you know, when the game is on the line. So that was huge. Okay, I think we have time for one more question, if anybody has one. All righty then, awesome. Coach. Thank you for your time.